Yes, YouTube. Uh, you saw the beginning intro. Um, I was debating on even making videos. I was trying to maybe take some time off. But the grind has to go. Kobe Bryant was my idol growing up. Being because I grew up playing basketball. And he was one of the reasons why I started playing basketball. Uh, he was my idol. This is a few days. This is a, a, a day two after the tragic accident. Um, it still bothers me. Uh, I get a little teary. I'm kind of tired of watching all these videos on memories of Kobe. Not to say anything negative, but it just it just makes me sad. Um, he was legit my idol, like uh, from the whole twenty year career. I mean, I didn't see mo um, the first couple years, but I saw prime Kobe. Prime Kobe Bryant was the man, even before Mamba mentality happened. Just he was my idol. And then seeing what he was doing after he, he, he left the NBA was, was amazing. The dude got an Oscar. And then I even saw Gigi that tragically passed away as well. She was balling. Literally, he was making the female him. And that made me really excited. And it made me even more excited to have my son. And my son being excited to play basketball. He's only two, but he already he he, he sees me play whenever I play pickup, and uh, it 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 is. I mean, it's still affecting me. It's is is it makes me sad talking about it. Like I'm getting teary eyed right now. And I never met this person. Never met him in my life. But it was just like he was family. And it may sound dumb to some of y'all, but they, it, he, I mean, everyone's going to say, oh, he had all this money and blah, blah, blah. And all this, like, I, I saw him throughout everything, including those allegations that he had. I saw that he was still my dude. I mean, stuff happens. I mean, he was famous on top of that. Like, you don't think that person left. Nobody even remembers that person's name, so who? So why is everyone always bring it up? Like, like, like it's gonna do something bad to, like, his legacy. His legacy is amazing. He helped out more people than you can even think of. <sighs> like everything he was doing was for everyone to be helped. His books, his his being a father. He was awesome. Like this dude was my idol. Like, like that's why I. I I work so damn hard like that. I don't have that mama mentality, but I do have the mentality to go beyond what everyone else is doing. Like if if you're an OG, like OG to my channel, and you seen and you seen my Instagram names, there was a point that it was uh, Mexican Mamba. It literally was a joke because I like I said I used to hoop a lot and I had all the Kobe gear. The uh, Kobe Eights was my favorite shoes. I even had the uh, like the Kobe's when they were the Harachi, two K threes, and then two K fours. Had those Kobe's, and so then my friends would make fun of me, saying, "Oh, I'm the little Mexican Mamba, the Mexican Mamba," um, because I mean I, I would work my ass off growing up playing a basketball. And uh, I'm sorry to drag this video up so long, but. Just wanted to get that get that out because because he I literally just I don't know as a kid wanted to be just like him and on the court I mean yeah I'm a little short Mexican but who cares like I, I if I stepped on the court you were done that that was my mentality I'll tell I even tell you what you were what I was gonna do and I'll do it didn't matter on the court it was a whole different story but now I, I just can't believe it happened I just want to pay my respects he was my idol and hopefully keep the legend going Never, it's never going to die 
like even my son, like when he shoots on his little on his little basket, I would always yell Kobe, and that's gonna stay alive. That's gonna stay alive forever. And I can't believe it, man. This is a this is a couple of days after the tragic accident, so I just want to pay my respects. You guys just enjoy enjoy everything. Don't take it for granted. Because it will perish literally in the blink of an eye. Alright. Thank you guys for listening. I, I just wanted to say that because I know in the beginning of the video I have that. So thank you for enjoy the video. And have a wonderful day. Welcome back, YouTubies. So, we've done the rear of my Forester. We're gonna do the front of the Forester today. We're gonna be installing these wonderful products from Cartboy. Cartboy is here in Mira Mesa, so we get it in San Diego, super close, at a great deal. Uh, everything will be in the description down below for these, but I hope you follow me in this detailed install so right now my car is on stand not stand all ramps right now hard you can do it on that so we're gonna see if that's true or not we're gonna install these today because it's been here for a while so let's get going on this guys so end links right there and right now this is the stock forester soy bar i have an sti one but i don't know if it's gonna fit it looks like it might but we're gonna take these off right now okay Look how ooh, rusty that bolt is. That almost did not come out. <laughs> Ow! Shit! <that> hurt. <laughs> this one is my dual stock. Now you gotta make sure the top one is the bigger bolts because on the bottom is tinier. Look how cracked that is. And now we got the, uh, the new Danono Carts Boy. Well, again, make sure the smaller one is on the bottom and then the bigger one on the top. And on the set, so it comes with a new screw and a bolt or yeah, nuts and bolts. And the bigger top one. I'm checked.
as I film this intro, I mean, I'm still, I, I get emotional talking about it, but I forgot to film an outro, and um, so I had to, I had to do it, and I just make it quick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's the easiest way to do end links, front end links to your 2001 Subaru Forester. I'll see you guys on the next one. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Have a good one.